Hi everyone, Isaac here from Norwell. So today, a bit of a different video. I'm gonna do a bit of a rundown with Tim. He's a long time mate and long time Norwell employee. And he's also our technical design manager. Um, so what we've got, Tim's got a 79. I like to call it Red Bull because it's a bit like my Bull 79. So Tim, tell us a bit about yourself. Where'd you, how'd you get started at Norwell? Uh, yeah, pretty much been here about 10 years or so. 10 years um, this month. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Uh, so started as a fitter and turner, uh, single trade, and then uh, basically left that job, hit Isaac up, see if he had any work, and then moved into uh, doing a boiler making apprenticeship for Isaac for Norworld, uh, which was super cool. Got to learn a lot of tricks and bits and pieces of the trade, uh, which is pretty awesome. Got to got to do a lot of the fabricating that you see on the backs of our of our vehicles. Yeah, and like Tim's one of the only guys that's machined products for us, built components, built trays, built canopies. Fitted them all around Australia. He's come to America with me three times now for installs. You know, so he has had a lot to do with the product as you see it in its current form. In what you see, this truck, it's a bit different than most of our demo vehicles, the, the, the test mule, yeah, you'd it's, say. It's, yeah, it's a bit of, bit of R&D development, some, some personal projects, things that I thought were cool that I just wanted to, to add on that I use when I'm camping and, and get out there and use them and then bring them back to the boys and say, hey, I might have this good idea. What do you guys think? So. It's, it's pretty cool to have it and be able to use it as well. Yeah, and be yeah. involved so, in that Because you've got a channel and Insta, what's your channel? Uh, Life of the Chromies on YouTube yep. and Instagram. Um, that's just my, me and my wife. Yeah. Traveling adventures, got my Chevy build right, on there. The, yeah, so. cool. And like this car is still pretty dirty. It went away a couple of weeks ago, you said, and then you're like, I haven't washed my car. I said, I don't care. <laughs> we want it real. We don't want it pretty. It's not a mall crawler. This truck's used much like my car, much like Steve-O's car. What did you have before the 79? What made you pick a 79, bud? Uh, look, I had a 2015 Colorado. It was a dual cab with a tub on it for a little bit. Threw a Norwell train canopy on the back. Absolutely loved it for, for a couple of years, but it started letting me down with uh, with electric failures, all the just technology holding, really, just, <laughs> well, yeah, holding. Um, so I decided to go back to the farm truck. Look, they're pretty reliable. They're super bloody simple. There's nothing much going on with them. So yeah. um, just went with it for durability, reliability, and the awesome V8. Bit of a step plus, up from a Colorado. Would plus, you after say? seeing the bloody uh, <laughs> the the green machine, the, the bull, bull truck. Yep. It's um, yeah. so. What have you done? Like the bull's a portal truck extended. What have you done? You've done the same. So look, Go much, through it, much the same as as the the bull seventy nine truck. It's on Mark's portal axles. Yep. Uh, I've got a three hundred mil chassis extension done by Multi Drive. Uh, got the BP fifty one suspension in it. Uh, the Evo course wheels from Caleb at Pro Touring. He did a did a fair bit of work on this for me. The the ARB Summit bar, the the rack, a few bits and pieces. He actually fitted the the train canopy for me as well because I ran out of time with that. Yeah, so he look he your trip, yeah. he, uh, he orchestrated a fair bit of it, which is which is awesome. He did a great job on that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the that's the big highlight stuff of the vehicle. That's a that's a key We got a thing. tune too, eh? Like we Boofy, we got so Boofy to do Boofy, a tune. We Boofy did G350. Did the, uh, yeah, the G320 in this one. Oh, the smaller one, because yep. we're staying manual on this. Uh, clutch, intercooler upgrades, standard injectors in it. Uh, but yeah, with the snorkeling bits and pieces, it's, it's, it's plenty of fun about to drive. 210 kilowatts, 900 newtons. So it's, yep. it's pretty towy. Um, it's quicker than the Redhead's white 70th, I reckon. I he won't admit that. it, but I, I've driven both and compared to that, so yeah, I reckon it's a pretty towy. And we've done, what have we done? Crib track, you've done Fraser, you've yep. done Dinosaur. Yeah, way. done, done uh, north northwest of, uh, of Queensland and I'm just about to head up to the Cape, Cape. so we've got a fair bit of testing. You got um, some new products you're testing, eh? Yeah, Ready? yeah. That's, we got uh, some new stuff coming, so he's going to be testing cool. it. Um, which should be pretty sick, and then we'll have that on display in September at the open day if it, this video is up by then. Um, but with the canopy, so this one's a full time, yeah? Yeah, so full time, full time base on this one. Yep. Uh, I've opted for the 1740 Deluxe package on this one. Uh, just it works well with what I do with a bit of touring and stuff. I've got the drawer inside uh, on this side, which is great. I can still fit all my boxes and tubs in there. So yep, yep, right. And then. What tent? Camp King? So Camp King Industries tent. Now this is a fantastic tent. Uh, we got this to work out our bracketry and how that we yep. uh, how we could uh, make that suit our canopies. Absolutely amazing. I really, really love that tent. It's honestly one of the best things when I'm it's away. It's a good little Having mod, a good night's sleep. So. Sarah and Lucas do a really good tent for those that uh, are looking at tents. This is one of the top ones. There's a couple of Australian made ones. This is one of probably two or three that really just yeah. tick the box. It's it's definitely everything you could want in a, in a tent. And you actually use it, which is nice. I, well, you see a lot I of people chucking tents on cars and they don't yeah, use, use it. Yeah, use it two, three times yeah. a year. Yeah, I use it which, two, three times a month. It's, it's yeah, definitely... you smack it up. 
All right, we might awesome. go into the canopy. We'll have a look through it because I know there's some stuff in there that's R&D. There's some prototype stuff. There's yep. some life of the Cramies little tweaks. So <laughs> we'll get the camera in closer. We'll have a look through the canopy. We'll check it out. Okay, so with the canopy, as you said before, Tim, it's a deluxe canopy, yeah? Yeah. All right, so what are we looking at? Eco X gear speaker up there. What's that about? Is that a... So that's that's something that we're testing mounts and bits and pieces on. We're going to start supplying those, have them available uh, as an option with our canopies. This canopy's got a lot of other stuff in it, which is uh, usual spec stuff, ARB twin compressor, travel buddy oven, Bushman 130 litre upright mount, uh, 200 amps of lithium, and a, an extreme and a drive wiring package in it. Yep. And um, then this is a, this obviously isn't our standard set with a drawer, so this is a prototype product for uh, America that Tim's testing at the moment. Um, I can't show you, otherwise it's not really a prototype, but it is something that's not really camping and touring related, it's more sort of um, first responder related. So it is, it's yeah. just a product that you're testing. You've got your little cam crusher bracket, yeah. I like that. Yeah, so just made you're... something up real easy. Crush your can, throw it straight in the bin, saves on space. It's things like that that I just, you know, I think of while I'm camping and go, shit, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go make this at There's at no point taking week. a big bag of empty tins home when you can push them in there, chuck them in there. Toolbox, chainsaw fuel, power lead, what have you got yeah, going on? All, all my ARV compressor gear and, and whatnot, nice sealed, they never get wet. Yep, so double gutter system, as we talk about, we've always got the double gutter system on the toolboxes, dual rubber on the top, works really well. You know, you can't go wrong, you can see here on the front there's really good dirt around the outside, but then there's nothing actually getting inside. Yeah. So Inside the lid's and clean. And being a test mule, this truck's had central locking fitted from last year probably yeah, yeah i think mid mid last year we put it in it's been working We've fantastic been so, it up. Far. so you probably yeah it's done nearly a year's worth of traveling um, with the central locking which again we can't just bring out a product release a product and go hey this is good enough for use we actually have to chuck it in cars mm. and it's usually staff cars or good customer friends cars we're testing them we're punching big k's on them like this canopy's got rub marks all through it it's used it's it's, it's loved used, it's used yeah. Later in the year, Tim will get a new one. We're probably gonna have a new product coming. He'll work out, okay, this is a new product that's coming. I'm gonna put it in the canopy. I'm like, yep, let's do it. So we'll swing around the other side. We'll have a look at what we've got going on there. And then, yeah, see what you reckon. All right, so the business side of the canopy, we like to call it, yeah? So what do you got here? Bushman 130? Yeah, Bushman 130. I've had to move the handle on it though, because yeah. my wife's pretty pretty short. Vertically challenged. Um, travel yeah. buddy oven, which we all love. Yeah. We took one. We took one to the states, eh? And we did breakfast burritos on the road yeah, when we were over there yeah. in Maine. I mean, I've done pies, cob yeah. loaf. I've done heaps of stuff, and it's awesome. Pretty awesome. And yeah. then you've got, got your my chainsaw. Little, little drawer. I keep all my pantry stuff in that. A uh, little bag for coffee and whatnot in there. Um, got a few other ideas going. I've got the Milo. Yeah, Isaac Milo. Got the Milo. Uh, yeah. Yeti cup holder on a Tim one. Got them on, yeah. And then what do you got here? Hot water? Uh, hot hot water. water in the back of it. That vertical height storage for my tables, my large plastic tables and yep. things when I take them. Plus the wife's stand up paddleboard and things. Uh, table drawer with the little uh, slide out table there. That's um, that's always super handy for making a coffee or, or lunch or whatever you're doing on the side yep. of the road. So You've been uh, a bit slack. You haven't marked where you've been. I haven't been. marked out where I've been on our map. Um, I'll have to do that. I'll have to sit here. Better get done. One other one, do it. That's a Friday beers job, that one. Definitely. And then round the back or on the top, we've got the Camp King awning. Camp King's 270 awning. This thing's so easy to set up. I love it. It's uh, it's got a little extendo here because I'm short and my wife's shorter, and this is on portal, so that's my zipper puller. Cable tie extension. Cable tie. <laughs> What's this? It's uh, obviously this not an all-world product. No, this is something I whipped up for my my firewood. It's uh, it's super handy. It's just bolted onto the same mount as a spare wheel. So same as like so a jerry can. Same yeah? as a jerry can. Yeah, just yeah. an oversized jerry can holder. Essentially, put the wood in. Put your wood in. You got um, some lights on the back. You've lights made mounted a switch on the there. back. A little switch on there. Pretty um, cool. What else you got? Table drawer. Okay, so yeah. this is a new product that's seen various iterations over the last sort of four or five years. Um, this one's one that Tim, probably one of the one of the last projects we just released that you've been working on. Yeah. So movable table for your, your rear drawer. It's yep. got cutouts for your locks, so your locks don't clash. Yeah, self-locking when you close it, it doesn't fall can... off the back of your drawer and into the into the drawer casing and you lose it. Uh, and it's just also protects the rubber on the top of the seal from anything that's large in here that'll hit the seal and yeah, damage it. Good so. setup. So a lot of people have been looking for this sort of setup. Mm. We've played around with a few different ones. We've had big ones, we've had tilting ones, we've done all this, but this is a nice easy way to stop it moving around. 
and yeah, this is a project that you yeah, this is well this is probably the first project you got into this year yeah um yeah. after cent before central locking that was this is a cool thing but yeah yeah if you do look at getting a norwell this is an option that you can tick when you go that way yeah. you got some you've got some cases in there with your gear recovery yeah. gear tools shovels and things Looks like, like that, a step is... for brit to get up into stuff yeah definitely need that step i'm not going to get that out because she's <laughs> not that short obviously mark's full drive tow bar so if you've got a 79 the Marks tow bars are probably the go, and then yeah. you've got a 316 engineering yeah, three exhaust. Yeah, six exhaust, that thing sounds awesome. Full four inch, yeah? It's four inch, it was straight through, but I've had to put a muffler in it because it was just a bit too loud. A bit too cranky, eh? Yeah, a bit too much for me. Yeah. Oh, well, it sounds awesome. We've though. all got neighbors, do so we don't want to be that, oh, especially that guy. Especially leaving as early as I do every day. Yeah, kind early of starts. So, so yeah, Pretty hopefully subtle. this cruiser, as you see, we've got a number of different cruisers in the Norwell fleet, and then even the guys that work for us build pretty sick cruisers. Um, yeah. You know, portals, extendo, big tune, awesome tray and canopy setup, tent, awning, big power. It ticks a lot of boxes. It's the perfect touring rig for two people. Tim and Britt, they get around, they use it, they enjoy it, they abuse it a little bit, but they look <laughs> after it pretty well yeah, because definitely. Tim knows he wants to get home. Yeah, and then that's, that's why I've ended up. Give with you this. YouTube again, another plug for uh, the YouTube. Life of the Chromies. Life of the Chromies. So YouTube check it out. He's got his Apache build on there. He's got all the stuff they get up to when they go away. Yep, and 79 then, trips, camping trips, anything that we're up to. You'll have the Cape trip on there when Cape that's done, up, which we're yep. looking forward to seeing that stuff. But yeah, yeah, again, thanks for checking out this build with me and Tim. We'll catch you on the next one. See you guys.